can do here with his Fox. It's pretty interesting because you think Fox would be heavily, heavily favored in this type of matchup, you know, with the reflector and the speed and the movement options, but... Um, I, st I still think it's a winning matchup for... Um, for Fox, but I think it's not as bad as Swordfighter Rob, so Pokey feels a lot more comfortable in it. Okay. Than he did before. Well, Pochi's off to a really great start, putting up 67% and counting. Get him at ledge. It was really good high recovery and just drifting forward with the illusion too to not land into that up smash. All right, as soon as those comes out, I feel like Breeze really needs to start reflecting those, like the moment he sees it. Yeah. Uh, he, he waited for the grenade to pop, but did a roll, unfortunately, right into Pokey's. Yeah. Pokey's has already caught onto this high illusion. Yeah. And I think next time it might be called punished with death. All right, nice uh, stall there with the uh, with the shine. Almost got the jump. That was a really good re um, landing from Breeze. He stayed in the air for as long as he needed to and found his way back. Yep, catching jump with up tilt. Eight, uh, um, Breeze struggling to land. Yep, that was a good stall shine too. Perfect. Yep. See, that's exactly what you want. You don't because as soon as he puts out that projectile, you know he wants to go right in. Dash attack from Poke Cheese is going to take Breeze's first stock. Something like I was just saying with uh, Riddles, a big thing against me, Gunner, is you can't just be shielding all the projectiles. You need to go around it with your movement. It's a big thing to beating any zoner, especially really good zoners, too. Ooh, I like that. That was a really good option. And I think Breeze has already realized he has to be jumping around these projectiles, and he can't just be shielding and shining all of them. Yeah, good cross up uh, with the downer. Unfortunately, not going to get anything off of that. Instead, he's going to eat 27% for his troubles and counting. It was a good jab from uh, Poke Cheese. It was a safe option and also cross spot dodge. All right, dash attack on shield, going unpunished. Back out of shield from Poke Cheese, gonna put more damage. Unfortunately now, Breeze doesn't know how, how to get this kill. He wants an up smash or uh, an air up smash. Poke yeah. Cheese can play pretty elusive for that. DI off stage, not get hit by the up smash there. Yeah, Fox has a little bit of, uh, I guess, Marthritis at this percent, trying yeah. to get the, uh, the kill here. All right, we're gonna see this ledge trapping here. Yeah. You also don't wanna get a over. stage spiked either by the projectiles. Up smash. I think Poke Cheese tried to do a smash attack too, so the Fox up smash is going to come up significantly earlier. Gunner back here going to kill that one. Yeah, from center stage no less, but Fox is a light boy. Ooh, okay. Dash attack. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Grenade. Well, it was a good way. That was a good double jump to bait out a option that Poke Cheese wanted to do to cover a landing. Yeah, oh, mm, miss, just missing the jab block. Poke Cheese trying to find his way down to the ground and eventually finds it. That was a really good uh, pivot grab too. Prevented an approach. Yeah, I really like what uh, Breeze is doing. Lots of cross-ups, which is uh, which is really, really nice. Making it very hard for him to get hit. Yep. Dashing back to not be hit by the grenade instead of shielding it. It's a good try on the illusion, but the neutral tech into shield is the quickest option and beats it out. Good up air, not going for the up smash where up smash wouldn't have hit. Okay. Interesting way to try to cover ledge. Just yeah. neutral get up up smash. It looked like a shield poked or something. Yeah, probably probably was that. I, I couldn't see it, but could have been. Oh, unfortunate for yeah. Marie's taking lots of damage as here. As much as it sucks, sometimes you just have to go to ledge. It's really good. Not smash. gonna do not it. Kill. He's uh doing a lot of dash back options to try to catch these approaches from Marie's. Yeah, great yep. catch there with the up tilt. Like he's seeing Breeze is trying to jump around a lot to move around the projectiles as he should. And because Poke Jesus is seeing that, he was doing a lot of dash back options to catch the landings. Mm -hmm. And there you obviously saw the up tilt to catch the initial jump. Yeah. Realizes what uh, Breeze wants to do to get around the projectiles and trying to punish that option once the projectiles aren't working that he sets up. Yeah. Because you set up the projectiles so they have to move around it and then punish the movement around it. With some sort of anti air, exactly. Yep. yep. Uh, All right. So again. Pokemon Stadium 2, coming in. Same characters as Same care. always. We're gonna see how this one can go for Breeze. But it was not bad play from him at all. No, I thought it was a great game overall. I think if anything, if he can, uh, if he's trying to jump around projectiles, not jumping as forward around them maybe, but uh, I can't specifically say that. That's just a guess at this point. All right, really good spacing from Poke Cheese, able to put 40% on. Yep. Fortunate, not getting the dash attack to connect and running right into the grenade to put him in disadvantage. Nice, I love that. Soft hit near to grab. Mm -hmm. Dash attack near, dash attack there. Trying to call out a jump. Pretty common platform option. Neutral getting up into the grenade. Should have waited a bit. These uh, 
Illusions at that level are very much not what you should be going for. If you're going for Illusion, you want to be at platform level or to ledge. I feel like siding right into the Pokies is never going to be the option. Yeah. Wanted to wait for the grenade, but unfortunately, waiting for the grenade let Pokies put out another move. Oh, a little Sakurai. bit ambitious. No, I okay. don't like that. Okay. I thought he was going to die off of it. I kind of thought he was too. Nice down tilt into back there, though. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, he's alive. No, I don't think so. Oh, he is. You're really yeah. right. That was, I thought it was really close, though. Nair not getting the up smash because it was a bit of a very late hit at the tip. Back air. It was really smart to not go for the Nair, recognizing the back air would kill. Didn't need to try to Nair up smash. All right, we got the gentleman, or uh, the jabs coming in, rather, from Poke Cheese on ledge. Again, relentless assault here. Yeah, from in that situation when grenades at ledge, it covers everything besides roll, and Poke Cheese can just cover the roll. With down smash. Yeah. yeah, down smash or dash back up. F smash he enjoys as well. All right, dash attack on shield. Very, not very unsafe. Not Gonna getting a true combo there, so it gets punished. Grenade picking him up after the jump. Yeah, off of the platform, no less. Very, very nice there from Poke Cheese. Yeah. All right. Oh, neutral get up, okay. Well, probably supposed to be a dash attack, but I feel like it would have been punished either way on shield. Just jumping around, but not throwing on moves and just getting hit for it. Yeah, it seems like he can't just get his bearings straight. Okay, jabs. Buys him a little bit of time. Whoa. Another parry. Look at ledge. Yeah, if he's illusioning, he needs to try to be a bit below ledge and grab ledge from below with the illusions and higher up because he'll get hit by the grenade, as we saw. Lots of up airs. Yeah, really great pressure. This is a very, very good string here. Yep. Fortunately, he tried to cover the neutral getup with the grab, which is common, but because Poke G's rolled, he gave Poke G's the stage positioning, which put Roots in a very bad situation. Tried to yeah. jump out of it, got caught by the back air.